Glenn Boss, tell us about your Mount Envious in the Blue Diamond on Saturday. Yeah, he's a real nice progressive Hassan A. Colt. He, um, he's not your real progressive to uh, sort of uh, jump and run type of horse. Um, his first run was very good. He ran fourth behind Sepoy in his very first start. Pleased us. He got into a little bit of trouble on the home turn, didn't get out and clear running until late and ran fourth. Probably could have run second with clear running, which gives him some sort of chance going into a blue diamond. Um, he's progressed quite well since then, but it's a big ass second start in the race going into a pretty, pretty good major two year old race. Um, just at this stage, tactically, what are your thoughts going into it? Have you got any idea what you'll do? Uh, draws haven't been out yet, so draws will be key. As um, soon as you see them, that's, that's when you start thinking about what you might do. And in the other Group 1 race on Saturday, Solar Charge uh, ran very well first up. Uh, how do you think it will go in, uh, next this start? Yeah, she ran terrific first up. Um, went into that race very underdone. She hadn't had a trial, and what I'd seen of her looked like she hadn't done a lot of work getting into that race. And um, John O'Shea obviously sent her into that race pretty fresh, expecting a lot of improvement going into her second run. So um, she's a sneaky go. She can run well. Have you ridden her work since that first up run? No, um, she has a regular track rider that does all the work on her, so no chance for me to get on her. Out of those two mounts, who do you think is a better chance on Saturday? Well, obviously, the two-year-olds are very unknown, so I mean, you wouldn't go there. With solar charge, you know, what you see is what you get. She's, um, she's a, you know, should be a race fit ready horse this Saturday. And uh, you know she's going to run on speed and she's going to look the winner at some stage. So you'd have to say that she's the best of the two.